and thanks for joining me for this week's live 20 minute workout. Hope you're fit and well today, whenever you're doing the workout. If you're doing it with me live, please say hi. If you're doing it at a later time, say hi also. Tell me what you think of the workout. Okay, so we'll get marching on the spot, breathing deep. Just get your body moving, get your shoulders rolling. Good, lift your elbows high and give your arms a big circle. Nice deep breaths as we're going on today. We're going to start with a little bit of, uh, let's do a little bit of a punching warm up today. Um, although we're just going to step side to side to begin with. Um, and then we're going to get into a full body workout. We'll be using a chair today. So if you've got a chair, um, brilliant. I think most people have got a chair. So they'll be able to do the workout. Okay. So yeah, let's start with some boxing to warm up. Left foot in front. We're going to start with jabs. Just punching them out. Breathing deeply. Punching moves do get your full body working. So we're not just warming up the arms, we're warming up the legs and everything else. Good, we'll do four more of these. And a big march in between, you can jog if you want. Okay, then back into the punches again, getting that full body turn. Elbows high. Breathing deeply. Good, really turn your full body into the punches. Come on, let's wake ourselves up for a good week ahead. If you're doing it on a Monday morning, that is with me. Good. We'll do four, three, two, one. Now back to marching or jogging. Good stuff. And then into uppercuts. Push through your legs. Waking up the body, getting that motivation flow. You might not feel motivated right at this moment, um, but let's... Get some of those endorphins flowing and hopefully you'll feel great and motivated afterwards. Who knows, it might hit you in the middle of the workout. You might have a sudden burst of motivation. We'll do four more. Three, two, one. Okay, back to jogging. Give your wrist a circle. As I said, we're going to be using a chair today. So if you've got a chair or a step, we'll use it now. We're going to do five different exercises. I mean... I mean, view five different exercises, um, all using a chair. Um, if you haven't got a chair, um, you can do everything on the floor. It might be a little bit harder. Okay, so first exercise, shoulders back till we pulled in. We're going to jump off the chair and sit back down again. Are you ready? Let's go. Okay, so make sure when you're sitting down, you're controlling that movement. You're keeping your feet on the floor. You can option is just sitting down and standing up. Do you know sitting down and standing up, technically, it's a squat. You're doing it every day without knowing. As long as you're not sitting down all day. Good. Pull your tummy in. Think about that posture. You'll notice I've put my chair on the mat today because it was slipping about all over the place last time I was using it. Good. We're going to do three more, two, and last one. Good. So far, so good. Okay, turning around this time, hands on the chair. Again, you can do these directly on the floor, mountain climbers. Keep your shoulders above your hands, your hips low, and opposite elbow to opposite knee, turning around. Whatever speed you want with these, you can go super fast. I know a few people who do these extremely well, extremely fast. But I'm staying steady with them. Good. All the time, make sure your um, shoulders are above your hands. Really twist it round. Good. You should feel your shoulders getting nice and warm in these. And also, that twist through your abs. Good. So keep turning your hips. Well done. Twisting it. We'll do it in 45 second rounds. We'll do three, two, one. Well done. Okay, next one. We'll just have a little sit down before we start, which is always nice, isn't it? Dips. Brace yourself. Not my favourite exercise, actually. Working the backs of your arms, but also working your shoulders. Okay, shifting your weight forward, elbows back. Now, the further you take your feet out in these, the 
the harder they will be. Why did I just put my feet out? I don't know, I'm bringing them in again. Good. And another important thing to remember on these, keep your hips back and really squeeze the backs of your arms each time you press up, push up. You work in a smaller muscle group here, the backs of your arms, so you will feel the burn. Whew, I'm feeling the burn. Good. We'll do two more. And last one. Whew. Well done. Good work. Okay, three down, two to go. We're going to lie on the floor now, um, putting your feet on the chair. Okay, so I want you to lift your hips high off the floor. Dig your heels in, keep your shoulders and back on the floor, and you're lifting and pushing through. Okay, again, you could do these, I think tricep dips are the only ones you can't do on the floor. You can do these directly on the floor. You do actually get a better, better lift. So you're squeezing your glutes. You might need to reposition your feet just to get the back best squeeze. You should be feeling it down the backs of your legs here, lifting your hips high and keeping your shoulders and head on the floor. Good, nice and controlled. Really squeeze and push it forward on each one. Good, and last one. Squeezing, well done. Do target the backs of your legs quite a bit. Okay, last one. Oh, you can just relax your legs on the floor, on the chair here. Just resting them. We're going to do crunches. Okay, oh, put my top down. Okay, chin up. Let's go. So keeping your feet raised while you're doing your crunches just takes um, the work off your hip flexors. So you're just working your abs here. Nothing else. They'll feel slightly different to when you've got your feet on the floor. If you're lying on the floor, if you haven't got a chair, you can just keep your feet in this position. Good. Make sure with crunches, you always lift with your shoulders, not your head. Try to relax your neck and keep your chin pointing upwards. Good, 10 more seconds. You all see me turn around, I'm just looking at the clock. As we're going, I should have one another play. Oh, we've done far too many of those. I was getting carried away with the crunches. <laughs> we've done our time with those ones. Okay, there's your five, we're going to do them again. Whew, starting with your squat jumps. And we're ready. Let's go. Ooh. Good. So with or without the jump, if you're adding the jump in, Go for it, power those arms down. Just watch when you sit down, your feet are staying on the floor. Don't let them lift. If they're lifting, you're probably rocking your back a little bit. It's all in the legs. Good. Keep breathing here. Good, nice big jump. 10 more seconds here. Feel those legs working. Good, last one. Excellent. Good. Okay, give your legs a shake, mountain climbers. Are your next one, so keep your hands directly under your shoulders, body nice and level here. You're twisting your knee to your elbow. Let's go all the way around, keeping your arms strong. So your arms are working, your abs are working. Your hips are working and your legs are working. You should be getting warm now. You should be feeling a few good um, endorphins flowing. I hope so. Good, twisting it round, good. Get that really good twist. 10 more seconds, keep those arms strong. Keep breathing, three, two, one, well done. Ready for a sit down on that chair before the dips start. Okay, shoulders back, keep that back nice and straight. Hands on the side of his chair, facing forward. Off we go. Drop them, squeeze them. Good, just keep it good. 
that squeeze at the top makes all the difference. Squeeze it. Good. Try and keep facing forward as you're doing them. That will keep those shoulders in the right position. Good work. Squeeze. I'm looking at the clock as I'm turning. Oh, I'm feeling my arms burning here. Ten more seconds of it. Just think of those nice arms. Push through it. Good. Last one. Squeeze and push. Oh, give your arms a shake. Okay. Onto the floor for glute. Working your hamstrings. Okay. You might need to shuffle into... Go right into the position where you, where you feel these down the backs of your legs the most, okay? As you raise your hips. Head and shoulders on the floor. Let's go. Lifting high. Good. Lifting and squeezing. If you can't feel it down the backs of your legs, just shuffle your feet a little bit. Or shuffle your hips a little bit. Good. Squeeze your glutes each time you lift. Really squeeze here. Good. Only your heels need to be down. Good. So as high as you can, really push it forward. The high, the more you squeeze, the more you'll feel these down the backs of your legs. Ooh. Good work. Keep squeezing. We'll do two more. Squeeze it there. Good. And last one. Great. Just have a little temporary rest here. Crunches. Just relax your feet and legs. Chin off your chest. And let's go. Squeeze in. Lift that chin. Good. Remember, don't hold your breath at any point while you're exercising. Your gaze should be upwards towards the ceiling. I'm just looking here. I've got a tiny little spider on the ceiling. I need to get my duster out. Good. Keep squeezing and lifting the shoulders. Last three, two, last one. Huh. Well done. I kept, I kept track of the time then. Still haven't worked out how to get up in a glamorous fashion there. Okay, last round of each of these. We're starting from the top with your sitting down squats. With a jump or without. If, you, if you're having a jump, go for it. Keep your feet flat on the floor. Let's go. Good. Good. So push through your feet. Push through your heels. Remember, it's the last round. You can give it your very best. If you've got any extra energy you've been holding on to, or if you've just suddenly got that surge of energy, or just because it's the last round and you're nearly there with the exercises, just give it that little bit extra. Good work. We've got 10 more seconds here. Nice and strong. Squeeze your glutes to the bottom. Pull your tummy in. Last two. And last one. Good work. Okay, four more to go. Man climbers, hang your next ones. Hands under your shoulders. Body strong. Let's go. Twisting it round. Good. Go for that twist in for the outside of your elbow each time. You're keeping your arms strong. You're breathing deeply. And you're powering through it. We're starting the week. As we mean to go on. Good work. Last few seconds. Last three, two, one. Well done. Good. Sit on that chair. Have those few seconds rest. Give your shoulders a roll. Last round of dips. Give it that extra. 
squeeze, extra bit of effort in this round. Shoulders back, facing forward. Let's go. Good. Strong and steady. Again, with any exercise, you can do it slow or fast. The important thing is you're keeping that good technique. So there's no point in doing it fast if you're just not doing it properly. Okay, quality, not quantity, always wins. Make sure those elbows are back. Whoa, we've got 10 more seconds. Push and squeeze. Good, last two. Squeeze, and last one. Whoa, I'm always glad to get out of those. Give your shoulders a roll. Your arms a shake, we're on the floor, 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 floor. Anyway. Okay, lying down again. Just enjoy that temporary lie down. And we're lifting your hips high. Let's go. Squeeze and push. Good work. My tops are rolling up in these ones. Never mind. Good. So squeeze your glutes. Push your hips as high as you can get them. Keep them nice and steady. Just watch they're not rocking side to side on these. All about that hip stability and pushing through your glutes and the backs of your legs. Good work. Squeeze and breathe. We're nearly there. We'll do two more. Squeeze and last one. Squeeze. Great. Oh, might want to shake your legs there a little bit. Okay, last of the five, last round crunches. Arms around your head, keep your chin up. Deep breath, and off we go. Good, keep your chin lifted. Are you squeezing your ribs to your hips? Give them that extra squeeze here. Good. Good, it's the last exercise of the round, so please do your very best as you've been doing all the way through. Knowing that at the end of this round, we're gonna do some stretches, we're gonna do three more, squeeze it, two, and last one, big squeeze. Well done. Good work. Okay, you can stay on the floor. If you can, move your chair. Okay, we'll do a couple of stretches on the floor here, shall we? So lying on the floor, really well done. Breathing deep, keep your head and shoulders on the floor. Taking one leg into the air. Grab your thigh now, either behind your thigh or behind your calf. Watch you're not pulling at the back of your knee. So relax your shoulders, just hold that position, feel that stretch. Down the back of your leg, breathing deeply. And onto the side. Don't forget to stretch. It's an important part of the workout. It is a part of the workout. Although we're holding these just 10 to 15 seconds, you can do some extra afterwards if you want to. Breathe deep. Good stuff. Okay, come on, turning around onto your, let's go onto your knees now. So one foot in front of the other here, take it out pretty far, drop your hip, squeeze your bum. At the same time, we're going to push our chest out here. So you should be feeling the stretch across your chest, if I can talk, across your chest and down the front of your thigh into your hip and lower abs here. Breathe deep, lift your chin if it feels okay on your neck. Squeeze those shoulder blades together. Good stuff. And onto the side, so big step forward. Dropping in, squeezing through, pushing through your thigh. This time let's take your arms forward and drop your head. So we're doing an upper back stretch on this side. Breathe deep. Okay, slowly coming up onto your feet. Give your arms and legs a shake. 
We're going to do a standing, pushing into your heels, so you're getting a calf stretch there, bending into your front leg, and you can take one of your arms across there, stretching your shoulder. Oh, good. Got an itch. Good, really push that back heel down into the floor, and breathe deep. Good, and then onto the side, push that back heel down, bend into your front leg, and take your other arm across your body. Pushing into that heel and breathing deeply here. Good, well done. Okay, give your shoulders a roll, your arms and legs are shaped. We're going to stretch out wide, we're going to finish with a breathing out, breath out here, big breath in. As you lift your arms up and then slowly breathing out there as you bring your arms down. Well done everybody, 20 minutes of exercise done. Whenever you've done it, if, if you've done it Monday morning with me, brilliant start to the week. Whatever time of the day of the week you've done it, brilliant start. Okay, I'll be back here. I'll be back here next Monday, probably, yes. Um, check out my Facebook page. We've got the five-day boot camp starting on Monday, next Monday. Um, five days of workouts and all sorts going on there. If you're interested, um, add yourself to the event um, and I will send you details, um, but it's gonna be brilliant. Um, we're gonna be up early, really early every morning. You don't have to join in the lives. Everything will be in another private Facebook group. So there's diet plans, there's fitness plans, there's motivation, there's challenges every day. Five days of hard work, but you'll love it. Okay, so check that out. Um, otherwise, have a great week, have a great day, and I will see you very soon. Bye for now.